<laughs> what is that rope in your life then? Daryl, you said you clung to both of those ropes that made you feel good. What is those ropes in your life? Vic, you said it was that rope that was on you that made you feel What are those ropes in your life? What do you cling to in those moments of transition? That's what that is. It's a transition, and we're full of we're going to have transitions for the rest of our lives. <laughs> Some of us are older than others, but we lose our parents at a certain age, and we become the matriarch or the patriarch. We leave our family and start our own families. Our kids grow up, and they leave us, and they start their own families. So life is just full of transitions. That's nothing more than a transition. What rope is it in your life that you cling to in those moments of that transition? Family and friends. Family and friends are huge <coughs> ropes. Huge ropes at that moment. That's what we cling to in those moments of life. And you might be your parents now, like you said, it might be your kids when you're older, type of deal. <coughs> or your brother or sister, or whatever the case may be. So that's your support system, is your family and friends. That's what you cling to. Yeah. Anything else anybody else has? Mine's my own memories of success. Okay. Not, not as deep, and mine should be yours. <laughs> and not very shallow. But uh, <laughs> when I'm in a situation and I'm not sure if I'm going to push through, I look back at my past, and I think, you know, all these other times I was able to. So I'll do it again. You, you know, a lot of people say that, though, so you're not alone by saying that. A lot of people say my past experiences and watching other people be successful. Sometimes that spurs them on to do that. So experience is a big deal in our lives. That's what we grow from and learn from. That's what, this whole, that's what our whole ropes course is, is experiential. We test something out and we talk about it, but we do it. Yeah, but a lot of people say friends, family, and faith. You know, if you look at this rope, I told you it'll hold up 6,900 pounds. The way it's made... It's a bunch of individual ropes. Happens to be like 12 of them in there. Just a bunch of individual ropes. I don't think one of us would have hooked to that and climbed away. It could hold up one person here. But the 12 ropes together could hold up that truck or this whole entire group four times over. So that's the epitome of teamwork by ourselves. We're not a strong kid. That could be the strongest strand in these 12, but it's still not as strong as all 12 together. So that's when we build our businesses. We have to be conscious about the people that we bring in, and they got to pull in the same direction as us. You know, we have the the, the, the the blessing almost of bringing groups out and seeing them work together, and we kind of manufacture a day to put some of this colorful nylon sheath around groups. Every day we have a new group coming out that, that we kind of put a little color around it. As a, as a tragedy and the whole group gets around them and helps them through it, you're building a little bit, you're bringing them closer together. When they have a real tough job and they muscle through it together and they get done with it, they're a little bit tighter group because they went through that together. So experience is what brings us close together. Out here, it's a manufactured day, but when you go out on the job site, life happens to you. They start spreading you out. They start spreading your teams out. You're not as strong. So you got to be purposeful about that experience. What can we do as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a group, as a corporation, to bring our people closer together so they stay together? Because as we see, it's tighter. We're, we're, we're stronger as we're tighter. And you're only as good as your weakest link. And when you're spread out, you have a whole, you have 12 weak links right. when you're out there all by yourself. But when you're tight, everybody's taking the same weight. It's unimaginable. It's, it's exponential what can happen. But, you know, we do certain things with our ropes. We take care of our ropes. We set our friends and our family and our faith as kind of our rope. We check it out. You know, today if we stepped on our road today and tomorrow when we come out, a little stick can get caught up in there. And when it goes through the belay device, it can get caught up in there and it can hurt it. So every day we run our ropes through our hands. And we look at them and we run them through our hands. We make sure we feel and see our ropes every day. Maybe it's time we do that in life. Maybe we've hurt some friends or some family. Maybe we haven't been so faithful. Maybe it's time to go back and fix some of those. That's what we do each day, because if you don't, it's going to catch you. It won't be there for you when you need them. We grab a hold of those, those people, but we don't always take care of them. These ropes don't go bad because of overuse or abuse. They go bad because of neglect. If you just neglect them, they'll go bad. If you just kind of throw them in the corner and let them get wet and sit in that wet, and they just kind of rot. It's neglect. That's what happens to relationships. It's not abuse or overuse. Your friends want you to, to lean on them and use them. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's neglect. You don't call them anymore. You don't check in with them anymore. All your relationships, that's what goes down. is neglect. But even if you say, you know what, I got a big, nice rope in front of me. I got friends and family and faith, and it's great. Absolutely no good without that little piece of equipment. That's what hooks you to it every day. And that represents habit. By habit every day. If, you're, if your family's important to you, you need to hook into your family by habit every single day. If your friends are important to you, you need to find a way to hook into them. Because if you not hook into them, Rope does you no good. 
I don't think any of y'all, I just handed you the rope over there and just said, here, hold this. And they're like, where's the clip, dude? I flip it in. <laughs> if I had this, what we flip? So you got to think about that. You know, we're creatures. We, have, we wake up at the same time. We have our favorite coffee cup. We have our favorite radio station. We're driving on our favorite roads. And we usually pass the same cars, but they're creatures of habits, too. And you pull in your parking place, and somebody's parked in your parking place. It messes your whole day up. We call them creatures of habit. It's one of the most important things on the whole setup is your habits. You know, think about the way you run your meetings. You do it by habit. You usually say the same thing to people when you meet them. Hey, how you doing? Or hey, what's up? Or habit. Watch yourself when you when you introduce yourself to somebody, you'll say the exact same words to them almost every time because we're just habit. We just put it on habit. Read a book not right now, The Power of Habit. They say in life, we do about 48% of everything we do a day is habit. 48%. And when you get on the sports field, it almost goes up to 80 on the sports. So think about the habits. Habits are running your business right now. Habits are bringing in your, bringing in your, bringing in your pay. Habits. That's what, that's what, that's what we want. <clears throat> so think about the habit. That, that, and that's going to create your culture. It's create your destiny. Think about the habits. If we could, the way we'll just kind of end up today, and Larry, you're more than happy, and, and you're more than welcome to join. Just say one word, something today that, that kind of came to you that you're going to take back with you, and we'll just kind of zip it around the circle here and be the... At least one word, but you can say as many as you want, but at least one word from everybody, and we're out. Start with you, Vic. At least one word. Something about today. Well, this, this was very educational. And, well, I, I learned to rely on other people. I learned teamwork, a lot of teamwork. And I, I had a, a good time. And actually, you guys kind of pulled me in places and I appreciated that. You know? nice. uh, I'm just going to go off because it's not because it's the most precious, but uh, habits, 48% of habits better be good habits. <laughs> that's, <right. laughs> so that's what I'm going to take out of this. Let's create some good habits. I got to say, when I signed up the, this afternoon, what happened today is not what I expected <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> I had no idea what I was getting myself into and, and that's in a good way. I don't mean in a bad way. It was, it was Cool. I never thought I was going to be learning about the teamwork and basically setting goals, make sure they're good enough goals, and not just and uh, a little bit of everything, teamwork, everything. So it wasn't what I expected, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. You know? Good, Chris. Thank you. Mm. We can all do a little bit more of that. <laughs> Ropes. 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 The whole thing in a whole, just meeting new people, good friends, you know, taking, you know, things away from here that if I didn't come, I wouldn't have you know, seen or been around any of you guys, so nice to meet all of you. That's awesome. No, I, I don't know, I think I've made myself do something today I generally wouldn't do, so I definitely stepped out of my comfort zone, so that's a good thing, and it was a great time. I, like, it was a lot different than what I expected to be, and I had a good time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you both. Larry, you got anything? Well, I appreciate you for my the people I have working with me. I, just, just watching Brandon, I mean, he's only one of many that work with me, so it's just it's just appreciation what they do. I mean, because without them, I couldn't be successful. So basically, they're it's them that keep me going. So without without my team, I got nothing. So appreciation. Treat them right, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I will. I just I'm got like you're getting a raise. <laughs> 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 and I just like I, I guess my word of the day would be appreciation. I just appreciate you guys coming out here and trusting us and sharing with us and giving us insight and just laughing over there and being good sports. I just fun. really appreciate it. So thank I you for coming out. Biscuits, and fun. <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, thank you very hey, much. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see y'all around. We're out here next couple right. of days. I'll see you up around there. Hey, Fred. That sounds good. Thank, thank you very much. much. <laughs> thanks for telling me. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Easy on the biscuits next time. All right. <laughs> All right, no problem. Yeah, a couple more. All right, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. thanks for holding me. Thank you. you got it. Anytime. Uh, I'll be calling you. Okay. We're emailing you Monday, okay? okay? All right. I Thank you. It. All right, Good man. job, buddy. Hey, it was fun. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you, I'm glad you, you did it too. I kind of wish I had a recording of you.